what kind of fight do you see from Spence? What is Spence going to give to Crawford? I think Spence is going to do what he always does, and he never changes. It's just come forward. He comes forward, and he drops bombs. He's right. coming to attack, and um, um, he's going to be landing those body shots. And Let me he, ask you this. Go ahead. Not to cut you off. I apologize. You know, they're both they both fight Southpaw, but Spence can really – he's also comfortable fighting right hand. I think he's naturally right-handed but he mm -hmm. fights left-handed. Do you think he's going to stick to one style, orthodox or or uh, or southpaw? Or, or is he going to go, I'm sorry, orthodox? Or is he going to go southpaw? Or is he going to be switching throughout the fight? He's going to be switching you... through. Uh, he's going to be switching throughout the fight. He's mm -hmm. going to, he's going to find what works and he's going to go for it, you right, know? Right. And um, um, have I seen Spence get hurt? Yes. Maybe twice. One with mm -hmm. Dugas. And one with uh, I forgot the guy's name. His last I think his last name was Bundu. But other right, than that, right. yeah. Other than that, I mean the guy's unstoppable. He's he's the Terminator, bro. Well, look, you know, you and I've talked about this before, even be for years already. And when he had that accident, I remember telling you specifically after seeing him fight with Ugas. I I don't think he. I think he has an injury. He hasn't disclosed to anybody yet i think he's i think he i know he's telling everybody he's 100 yeah. percent. but i've seen him be vulnerable to that overwrite I, I, I don't think he could see in a certain level and i don't think he's telling anybody about that uh i've seen him get caught too many times and i feel that terence crawford knows that so i honestly think that terence crawford is going to be exposing that side, just punching the right side of Errol Spence. But here's the difference, though. Errol Spence's jab <laughs> is so stiff mm. and so long. And in a weird way, he does have a lot of power. I mean, he doesn't really have knockout power, but there's something about that jab. It kind of reminds me of Mayweather a little bit, where I would see a lot of boxers would say when, who fight him, who would fight Mayweather, say he doesn't have no power. But yet they couldn't get in, not because Mayweather was a defensive whiz, but they, to me, it was just like, man, there's something about Mayweather's jab that is just too much, that keeps boxers at bay. It's a speed, and, I think. Yeah, and I think Earl Spence has that, but a little bit stiffer. So I don't know if Terrence Crawford is going to be able to get off that right hand and expose what I think may be a blind spot for Earl Spence. That's just what okay. I think. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I think Earl Spence has the power to to maybe not not knock out Terrence Crawford, but I think he's going to knock down uh, uh, Terrence Crawford. I think wow, he will. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think I think that um, Earl Spence is the toughest. The, the hardest hitting boxer that um Terrence Crawford's ever gonna fight. And he's and and Bud Crawford has been down. He has. Yeah, he has been down. He has been down. He has yeah, been down. Definitely. And I think I think I think um you know that he that Errol Spence has the power and uh giving credit to Bud Crawford also is that I think Crawford is a skillful boxer, you know, uh put up with that pressure that Spence is gonna give him. I think Spence is just gonna be too much in my opinion. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick